going on you guys this is Ryan from Wadfigs here and welcome to a customizing with Wadfigs tutorial for the first time uh, I don't think we've ever done like a full tutorial I mean we've done like many how to's and separate customizing videos but today I'm going to be showing you guys my way of cracking Mattel torsos which is something I have never been able to do for three years but I finally was able to do it uh, up until a couple weeks ago uh, and there's a bunch of steps I want to tell you guys how to do it uh, what tools you need and everything so first tool you're gonna need not really a tool but uh, just something you're gonna have to need if you're doing this um, is gloves because you do not want to cut your fingers I've cut my fingers before uh, when I used to suck at torso cracking and I've lost a lot of blood well not a significant amount but you know what I mean uh, so make sure you have just random gloves to protect your fingers um, and next you're just gonna need a screwdriver um, this is just a small one that I have but you can mainly a flat uh, a flathead one that's probably gonna be best and the easiest way to crack hotel torso open I just have this small one but you can have a bigger one next you're gonna need a knife and um, you want to get your parents permission if you're going to do this I have of course my dad's permission um, but I just have a little bit of a small little blade here it's not too big um, it's very thin which is good I got this off Amazon for about uh, eight bucks or something like that really cheap and it's really good I've been using it a lot and it's actually um, pretty sturdy I used to have knives before that would snap and stuff so you want to make sure you have a really good knife um, and finally you're going to need of course or actually you're also going to need a hair dryer which is what I'm using um, and then you're going to need the figure that you're going to be cracking and the figure I will be cracking open today is this uh, fodder um, elite 29 cm punk uh, so right now I'm going to show you guys basically what you're going to be looking for when cracking a torso so before I knew what I was doing and I broke so many figures trying to torso crack basically I would just stick my screwdriver in the little shoulder piece right here and then push back to try to pop the torso open and I did not know that is not what you're supposed to do that's not really going to get you anywhere you might get lucky but what you're going to want to do is, is you're going to want to find you see these torsos have a little bit of a seam right here going down onto both sides and also goes down here but you're not really gonna have to worry about these too much on the bottom part right here basically what you're gonna try to do is, is just stick your knife in and just try to create a little bit of a hole there so you can get the screwdriver in and pop it out easy but I'm gonna be getting into more detail when I actually pop this open first thing we're gonna want to do is uh, use the hair dryer and heat up the torso try to separate the glue and also warm up the plastic a little bit so it's easier to pull you're going to want to do this for about 40 to 30 seconds. Mine's going to be sped up, but like I said, 40 to 30 seconds, um, even more if you really feel like it, should heat up the torso just the right amount. Alright, now that punk is warmed up, we are going to put on our gloves. So as you can see, we have the seam right over here, and what we're going to do is, is just... There's a little crack right there, so we're just going to push in a little bit. As you can see, we are in, and we're just going to like put a little bit of pressure down that way. So as you can see, we have made the crack right here. So as you can see, there's a little bit of an opening right there, which is good. This is what we're going to need. And now we're just going to do the same thing on the other side, so we're just going to put our knife in right by the end. Just stick it in, put a little bit of pressure. As you can see, it's like popping in and out. Let me see if I can do that again. Right, as you can see, it's in the torso, and that's good. So as you can see, it's creating a divide right here, like a little bit of a crease. Next step that I like to do is I like to take the knife and I like to line it up uh, on both sides of the neck right here. Let's see. Uh, yeah, there it is. So as you can see, it is um, lined up on both sides of the neck, and then just put a little pressure down. So as you can see, it's moving down right over here. And you can even do it like evenly on both sides. So if you want to do one there and then do one there. So we've created even more of a divide right here. And then I'm going to go back to the original split. Put a little bit more pressure on that one. Same thing for this side. So it's already pretty loosened up right there just by those little cracks. Um, and now I'm just going to put, I'm not going to try to crack it all the way, but... I'm going to put a little bit of pressure just to see where we are, and as you can see, it is opening up, which is good, so we're going to put the same amount of pressure on the other side. That's a good crack right there. As you can see, now that bottom piece is open. We still need to open up that bottom one right there. We might even be good right now, so that's, that side is not fully ready. 
So let's just put a little bit of a cut on the bottom one. Like I said, I'm just pushing. That's all I'm doing. I just pushed in a little bit just to open up this crack a little bit more. And then let's see if that makes it easier. Well, there we go. So let me take off my gloves real quick to show you ah, that that basically opened up the whole entire thing right there. This side still isn't opened up all the way. So we can just take our screwdriver and boop. So as you can see, we just cracked it. We cracked it completely off. Not a lot of pegs broken. None of the three major pegs are the four ones, which is one, two, and three, the middle piece, the two side pieces, and the top piece that connects uh, the uh, little neck joint right over here that we are going to take out. So pretty good, pretty easy. Um, I slowed it down a little bit for you guys just to show you really how it's done. And uh, that's basically just how you crack a torso. Now you're probably wondering, well, why not the bottom piece? I fully haven't mastered cracking open the bottom piece. I still have a little bit of trouble doing that. So once I'm good with that, I'll do a separate tutorial on how to do that. I still just need to work on it a little more, get a little bit more practice. But like I said, it's really not that difficult to crack open a torso. Just take your time. Make sure that you cut those seams right here. Put a little bit of pressure. And then it should just crack open pretty easily. Thank you guys for watching. Let's try to open this again. There we go. Um, and stay tuned to the next video.